Hi, Andreas from Total here. Today I want to talk about abstractions. You might have heard people say uh, talk about abstractions when it comes to programming, but maybe you're not a hundred percent sure on what it means when something is low level or high level, uh, and what it means even to have different levels of abstractions. So today I want to take you through what that means, and I want to show you some example in Total, and then talk a little bit about why it's such an important concept in programming. So let's dive in. I've got a form here. Um, and I'm going to add a new element to it, right? And by default in Toddle, the elements you can add are the basic HTML elements. So these are the fundamental building blocks of your web application. Um, these are built in to the browsers. The browser exactly understands what to do with each of them, right? And I want to add an input, right? And because these are built in elements, uh, let me just go and fix the width of this to 100%. So it fits um, the form. Um, now, by default, these are the lowest levels of abstraction you can have because they're the basic building blocks in the web. You can't really go lower than them, right? But um, what that also means is that you get almost full control of what you want to do, right? Like I can go and change the color to something dark, and then maybe I go and change the background color to something more light. Uh, I can go and control the uh, placeholder, right? And I've got access to all these events. Like, what do I want to happen when you click or double click or right click or whatever it is you want to do, key up, key down. Like, you've got so much fine grained control because you're working at a low level abstraction. But the downside is that it also takes more work. Like, the lower the level of abstraction, the more work you have to do. So in this case, uh, since I'm building this form, I probably also want a label, right? And I'll put my ins in this case my input inside the label. That's a nice little trick. That means these two are now connected. And if I, for example, click the label, it actually focuses the input automatically, right? Um, but so now I have a separate element here, the label, and I can go and style that. And maybe I want the color to be red for that one, right? Um, and again, I've got full control because I'm working at the lowest level of abstraction, right? Um, but in total, like, and and so so that that's the benefit. That the downside is that, uh, yeah, it's more work. And let's say I'm building a large form with like a hundred of these on it. I don't want to. I don't want to sit and do that every time, right? So in total, in this uh, total project here. Uh, and this is because I'm working specifically in the project edit, like the total editor project. Uh, we have a component called uh, text edit or text input. What's it called? Yeah, text input. <coughs> All right. Um, and so a text input is actually we can open up. It, it's got a, a few things inside. It's got a label. Uh, it's got an input, and it's got a tooltip. And that means that if I'm hovering here, the label I actually get a little tooltip, right? So all this is built into the component, and I get that for free, including all its styling. Uh, and all I need to do is here an attribute go and say like the label should be like content. And so now I've got an element, I can just drop it in and, and continue working, right? Uh, so it's a lot faster, it's a lot easier to work with, but the trade-off here is that I don't have access to all the same events I did before, and I don't have to access to all the same sort of control, right? I'm giving up control for efficiency and ease of use. And that happens every time you go up a level of abstraction, you're making your life easier in the sense that you can move faster, you need to do less thing, to get more results, but you're giving up control every time. Right? Uh, another example here is my unit input. Um, so unit input is actually something you're all probably very, I'll call this with, uh, probably quite familiar with because we use it right here in our uh, side panel, our style panel. <coughs> so um, we're in the unit input, we've got like a little select uh, for our style variables. And also you can do things like uh, type in just the number and it'll automatically add the default unit pixels behind, right? 
uh, it also has like you can press arrow up and down or count up and down, right? So it's got a lot of like built-in functionality that I don't have to specify every time I use it, right? I can just plop this unit input in and you can see we use it a lot of different places in the style panel. I don't have to worry about the details of how it's implemented. Um, but again, I'm losing control, right? It only works for a specific use case. So when I'm going up levels of abstraction, I'm giving away some control and the use case, the things I can use this thing for becomes more specific, right? Um, and maybe a slightly bigger example of this is I've got my uh, oh, size styles. And so this component is actually what you see here on the... Um, on the panel here, right? This little section, right? And so now we've gone from like a component that controls a single property, like width, for example, to now it, pro it, it controls a whole set of properties, right? So we're even jumping up in the abstraction levels, right? Now it's like, we don't have to worry about the individual part. We can just say, here are the styles, uh, and it'll automatically render all these things and control them. And if we go and like, if I go and make a change to this one, right, uh, it can emit this change event. So let's go and say on our style panel here, we can see we use this uh, here, right? So the style panel here, what you're seeing on the right. And so this component right here, just take care of like one part of that, right? And, and again, we're at a high level of abstraction, which means I don't have a lot of control. There's really not that much I can do to this component, right? I can give it the style. I can provide a theme input to it. But in terms of events, I can change. There's almost nothing. Like I, I've given up a lot of control, but it's very easy to just plop it in there and give it some, in, some input data. Um, and then we're ready to go, right? So every time we go up a level of abstraction, we're simplifying life for ourselves when we're working with this, like everything becomes simpler to use because we're hiding the complexity inside. And the price we pay for going up levels of abstraction is again, control, right? Um, and, and we can see like, uh, let's take a, just, we can see we've got our component editor here, right? So we can go almost all the way up to the top and we can see here we have, we're looking at the whole picture, right? Now we have our element panel. So that's, now we're going down one level. Uh, we've got like our style panel. We go down a level, size, styles, styles, and unit input, right? We keep, we can sort of navigate up and down this. So, so one question you might have is, is it better to have a, a tool that works at a high level abstraction or low level abstraction? And the answer is, of course, that depends, right? Again, if you're working at a high level abstractions and a lot of no-code tools are operating this space, right? Like software is a great example. They've got these dynamic blocks. You can plop them in, um, give them some input and like plop a few of those together and you have an app, right? And it's extremely efficient because you're working at a high, high level abstraction. Um, and the trade-off is that there's a lot less you can do to customize. Like you can still customize quite a lot, but you're giving up some control. You're giving up some uh, some options there, right? Um, and at Total, we start at a very low level, and then we allow you to define what level of abstraction you want to work with, right? So the whole thing about components is that you can go and create uh, your own building blocks for your application that are at the level of abstraction that you want to work with. And there isn't one right level. It, it all depends on the specific scenario and what you want to use a component for. You want to define your own, like whole design system around all your components, but your whole own component system uh, that all works at the exact right level of abstraction for your project. So when the answer is low level or high, like when, when the question is, should, should I have low level, high level? The answer is really, well, you need both. You need to be able to go as low level as possible to gain that control and build exactly what it is you want to, uh, you want to build but then you want to build high level of abstractions that lets you be efficient and work really really fast inside your project i hope this made sense i hope you now understand a little bit better what uh, we mean when we talk about different levels of abstraction um if you haven't tried Toddle yet, go and give it a try. It's uh, free to get started. And we've got a great uh, intro video series that'll get you going. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, remember to subscribe and uh, hit that little notification button as well. 
Thank you very much for watching.